Hey guys, so we're going to be looking at paper one for Math Lit from November 2019, set by the IEB. Okay, always remember to read your instructions because they just set the expectation. Importantly, it says you must show all your calculations, show your units of measurement, right? If you don't show your units of measurement, sometimes you will lose a mark, okay? So you don't want to lose marks for silly stuff like that. Okay, so this is the most important, but just remember to make sure that you're aware of what is expected of you. Okay, so let us jump in. Let me make sure you can see. Okay, so it says global coffee brand Starbucks officially launched in South Africa with its first store opening in Rosebank, Johannesburg. Mm, I've been there on Thursday, 21st of April, 2016. The examiner enjoys coffee and was interested in comparing the cost of coffee at popular places. The table below compares Starbucks coffee prices to those from other popular South African coffee shops slash restaurants in April 2016. Okay, so it gives us all these different um, companies um, and then it tells us the price for different types of coffee. They don't have pumpkin sized frappuccino, which is my favorite, but that is all right. Okay, let us just jump in. Okay, so it says Starbucks has already or had already been open for 10 full days before the examiner went there. What was the date on the 11th day, which is when the examiner went there? Okay, so we know that the Starbucks opened on the 21st of April. So we need to figure out how many days there are in April and what day the examiner went there. So I have this little trick, right? If you put your fist like this, you go January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So all the ones that are on the knuckles, right, are 31 days. All the ones that are in between, well, February is 28 days, but all the rest of them are 30. Okay, so January, February, March, April. So April is 30 days. Okay. 30 days, that's all we need to know, right? So the first day, first day that the Starbucks was open was the 21st of April, okay? So we can just count 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. That's 10 days, right? So that's all of April. And then the 11th day would have been the 1st of May, 2016, right? So that is when the examiner went to Starbucks, okay? They're just testing whether you know how many days are in a month, okay? Then it says, what day of the week was it? Okay, so now we have Thursday was the 21st, okay? So let's write that down. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm writing, otherwise it is no use to man or dog, okay? So Thursday was the 21st of April, Okay, then we know that the next Thursday, right, is going to be the 28th of April, right? Because that's how dates work. So let's count from the 28th of April to the 1st, right? So Friday is the 28th, 29th, sorry. Saturday is the, the 20, is the 30th. And Sunday is the 1st. So 1 May was a Sunday. Okay, so these questions, there's no sort of like easy way of doing it. It's just kind of like you just have to make sure that you understand your calendar and that sort of thing. Okay. Cool, so that's those questions done. Let me move that over there and let's jump into the next question. So it says, calculate the difference in price between a Starbucks Americano and a Europa Americano. So I threw away this page too quickly. So I'm gonna say Starbucks and then we have Europa. Okay, so my Starbucks Americano is 38 Rand and my Europa Americano is 20 Rand. So, sure. Quite a bit more expensive, hey? So my Starbucks minus my Europa is 18 Rand. Okay, so the Starbucks Americano is 18 Rand more expensive than the Europa. Hectic. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's move on to the next question. So it says calculate the percentage by which a Starbucks Americano is more expensive than a Europa Americano. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to use what we calculated over here, okay? in our question. So we know that the increase was 18 Rand, but what do we put it over? It says, by which a Starbucks Americano is more expensive than the Europa. So the Europa is where we're starting at, right? So we always put at what we're comparing it to. So we're saying it's 18 Rand more expensive than this 20 Rand Americano, okay? But it says that it wants it as a percentage. So when we wanting to do a percentage, we always times by 100. Okay, now you can plug that into your calculator. 
but I'm just gonna do it in my head, and it is 90%, right? So they kind of tricked you when they said round your answer to two decimal places because there are, there's no need to put two decimal places, okay? Because that is actually the correct answer, okay? So just make sure you put in all these elements, okay? Let's now move on to the next question. So it says, what is the average cost of a cap? Is it cafe latte? Cafe latte in South Africa. So what does average mean? I don't know why I'm asking you that. You can't reply. But <laughs> average means that we want to know um, if we add all of these together and we divide it by the number of different cafe latte outlets there are, what would be the average cost? The average means what would be sort of like the mean cost, I'm trying to think of another word, like what would be your expected cost, right? What would you expect to pay for a cafe latte if you didn't necessarily know where you were going, right? But you wanted to have like the average sort of amount of money that would be applicable. So let's add all of them together. So 33 plus 26 plus 29 plus 25 plus 20 plus 23 plus 24. Sure. I said that so fast. So impressive. <laughs> okay, cool. So I just need to check that I wasn't, didn't miss something when I was so impressed with myself. Okay, didn't. Okay, and there are seven types. Okay, so I cannot do this in my head. I'm going to do this on my calculator. Okay, cool. So 30, oh, okay, let's do it this way. So... 33 plus 26 plus 29 plus 25 plus 20 plus 23 plus 24. Make sure that you type things incorrectly. I'm the queen of typing in things incorrectly. So let's see if that's correct. Okay. So what I am seeing here, let me just double check. 33, 26, 29, 25, 20, 23, 24. Did I do that correctly? feel like I'm making a mistake. Okay, no, we good, we good, we good. Okay, so let us write the answer. Right, so it is 25 rand and 71 cents. Now, importantly, when we're talking about currency, guys, we always round off to two decimal places because there's no such thing as 71428571 cents. Like, ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So you just have to round it off to two decimal places, remember? If it is smaller than, if it's four or smaller, we round it down. If it's five and above, um, you round it up. Here, in this case, we round it down. Okay, that is our final answer. Okay, let me just make sure you can see. Okay, now it says, the inflation rate from 2015 to 2019 is given in the table below. So inflation, right? Inflation basically means things get more expensive year on year. Okay. So we see that this is the percentage that it increases by every year. So it says, what is the modal? Modal means most. We must always write in what words mean. M what is the modal inflation rate over the given four years? So it's saying which number or which percentage occurs the most frequently, right? So if we look down, we can just see that it is 5.27%, okay? There's no math there. You just have to look, okay? You just have to use your eyes. Okay, cool. We're almost finished with this question. We're smashing it. Okay, cool. Okay, so it says calculate the price of a Seattle Americano in 2018, right? That's important. If it cost 26 Rand in, tw in 2016. Okay, so, right, 2016, it was 26 Rand. So now in 2017, okay. It's going to be 26 rand times, right? We need to increase it by inflation. So we're now going from 2016 to 2017. So it is, there's 5.27%. So we always have to say 1 plus 5.27%. Okay. Importantly, guys, you must always say 1 plus, right? If you don't say 1 plus, then you're just going to work out the percentage part, which is going to be smaller than 26, and you need to then add it to 26. So in doing this, it is a shortcut, okay? So we say 26 times 1 plus 5.27%, okay? And we get 27 rand and 37 cents, okay? So that is that. Importantly, guys, I've rounded it off here, but you mustn't round it off over here, 
The reason being is that we still need to increase it for 2018, right? And we don't want to lose some of our accuracy when we round off. Otherwise, we could have a rounding error. And we don't want to give our markers any excuse to take any marks away from us. Okay. So I'm going to just write out the full number there. And then I'm going to times it by the inflation rate from 2017 to 2018, which is 4.7. It's also helpful if I show you. 4.78%. So 4.78%. Okay. So let's do these things. Okie dokes. Okay. So it would be 28 rand and 60 eight cents okay what is very important here guys is that we round off do you see here right this eight is above five therefore i have to round the seven up to eight and that is my final answer okay very important okay that was four relatively easy marks most important things that we get our percentages correct but otherwise we smash this question okay next we'll go on to 1.2